I feel like I've been judged many times because of my alcohol and or drug use, uh, especially in a healthcare setting. Uh, when you feel like you can't be open and honest about your substance use, it creates barriers for your healthcare and can have lasting effects. It made me feel fearful, um, stigmatised. I felt a lot of shame and I was embarrassed about the choices that I'd made um, up to that point. Self-stigma in the past has made me feel fearful of getting a better outcome, health outcome. It has made me feel dismissed, irrelevant. It has made me feel shame. Since working in the alcohol and other drug sector and working as a peer worker and working as an advocate for people who use or have used substances, when I found the people in my group who had also come through it to the other end who want to help others, who want people in society to understand that it's not a moral failing, it's not uh, a judgment, it shouldn't be a judgment on your character. It needs to be looked at as a health issue, not as a moral failing, as a health issue. Feeling supported is feeling heard, feeling like you have an opportunity to be open and honest about your drug use and that not being the whole, uh, the whole thing that encompasses you. You know, you want to be, you want to be able to talk about other health issues, uh, not just your substance use. If you're being discriminated against because of your alcohol or other drug use, you should maybe get a second opinion. Talk to somebody that understands your substance use. Uh, many people have substance use disorders and having an open conversation about that with somebody who is inclusive and with an organisation that understands and supports you and your decisions. Just because you use substances doesn't mean that you are less of a person than anyone else. Lots of people in the community, in lots of communities all over Hobart, use substances. And we need to understand why people use substances to make them feel more included, to have better policies in our health systems, to educate and to help people understand that it's just people, everyday people that use substances.